Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We gather today to celebrate the marriage covenant of Jennifer Flint and Nathan Fiedek. It's in their name, in the name of their parents, that we welcome you to Mac Conception, to celebrate with them, rejoice with them, pray with them, as they make these very solemn vows by which they pledge themselves to each other for the rest of their lives. We'd ask that you not take pictures during this wedding liturgy. Let us pray. Father, we've made the bond of marriage a holy mystery, a symbol of Christ's love for his church. Hear our prayers today for Jennifer and Nathan. With faith in you and in each other, they pledge their love for each other. May the lives always bear witness to the reality of that love. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Please be seated for the readings. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God said, It is not good for man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. So the Lord God formed out of ground various wild animals and various birds of the air. And he brought them to the man to see what he would call them. Whatever the man called each of them would be its name. The man gave, gave names to all the cattle, all the birds of the air, all the wild animals, but none proved to be suitable partner for man. So the Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man. And while he was asleep, he took out one of his ribs and closed up his place with flesh. The Lord God had built up into built up into the woman the rib that he had taken from the man. When he brought her to the man, the man said, This one, at last, is bones of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one should be called a woman. For out of her man this one has been taken. That is why when a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, and the two of them become one body. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your mercy. 